hello everyone so in last tutorial we have seen various keywords that we used in where clause to specify a filtering criteria the first one that we have seen is a null checking for that we use where column name is null for specifying a null value for checking the null value and the reverse is is not null so for filtering out the null value then we have seen the order by clause in which we arrange the records in either ascending or descending manner if we specify ASC then it is ascending DESC for descending if you do not specify any keyword then by default it goes for ascending order and then we have seen a distinct clause that is if you want to display some unique values of any particular column then we specify a distinct as in keyword such that only some unique values get displayed so we have displayed distinct divisions distinct age and so on so we'll move ahead now first question arrange students details in descending order of marks considering only those students who have appeared for exam so first thing I need to filter some records as well as we have to arrange it so that means this query is going to include a where clause as well as an order by clause so up till now whichever queries we have done they either include included where clause or order by clause now whenever a query is going to include both of these order by clause will be always going to be specified at the end not just in take case of where but no matter what query we write with whatever keywords if the records has to be sorted order by clause will be always at the end because the query first gets executed it gives its result and then at the end these results are sorted either in ascending manner or in descending manner so the query for this will be select star from student where we have to check the students who have appeared for exam so the condition would be marks is not null then I have to order by it in the descending order of marks so order by marks and the keyword will be DSC semicolon so let us execute this yes it works we'll go for the next question get the name and percentage of all students so this time I have to select two values the first is name that will be given by the column S name and percentage now if we see over here there is no column for percentage but yes percentage can be calculated on the basis of marks now assuming these marks are out of 50 then percentage can be calculated as marks into 50 divided by 100 or if you go it for a very much simplest case then I would simply write marks into 2 so what we need to just write is select s name comma marks into 2 from student so yes we get the value as ABCBQR and then 90 0 and all those all the values have been doubled now so one thing we have noted over here is that in select clause instead of specifying columns as it is we can specify an expression and at the time of returning the values as a query result this expression will be evaluated so marks into two whichever value it becomes so each value of marks that is 45 then null then 0 33 will get doubled and will display it to the user now one point I have over here is one concern that is marks into two is getting displayed as it is what I want this now this column should be named as percentage so here the concept comes of allies allies are just temporary names or dummy names that are displayed only for the query result purpose so instead of specifying it as marks into two I would like this to be specified as percentage so the syntax for writing allies is as simple as that we have to just specify allies name after the column or after the expression so this should give me the result as s name and percentage same case goes for s name as well I can write 
student name yes if you want a space to be included in a value then the alias name must be specified in double quotes okay this also works fine one thing you might have noted when we use double quote the value gets displayed as it is but in where case of this percentage since it is not specified in double quotes it is being shown as all capital so if i specify this as double quotes then here again it has to show in a small case yes that works so we'll move ahead for next question get the name and percentage of all students who have scored more than 60% so i want to display name and percentage so as name and marks as percentage okay a students who have scored more than 60% so where percentage has to be greater than 60 in short marks so where marks into 2 greater than 60 yes so only those records gets displayed for which marks into 2 is greater than 60 rest all records have been filtered so let's check can we specify this column name that is alias name in a where clause okay Yes, it gives me an error. So, actually, what happens is when this query is executed, first of all, the from clause gets executed. So, execution of select query, it always goes as first from, then it goes to a where clause, and then it goes to a select clause. so if we specify this as an order so when first the from student will be executed so we know which from which table i need to record fetch the records then a where clause will be executed and then at the end the select clause will be executed now since the alias name is specified in a select clause that is percentage so when we are in where clause this percentage is unknown value this is something that does not exist so where clause will either contain a column name or an expression in column but it can never contain a alias name otherwise it will give an error okay next question get the name and percentage of all students who have scored more than 60% again the same question of third but some with some additional data that is in a descending order of percentage so after where clause what we need to do is just add an order by clause order by what percentage that is marks into 2 i want it in descending order so highest percentage will get displayed first of oh, where clause I, i still have here as error so marks into 2 okay yes we get the highest percentage before now the question arises can i specify the alias name in order by clause now as previously mentioned order by clause gets executed at the end of the query when entire query is executed at that after that at the end the order by clause gets executed that means in this case i am going to first execute from then where then select and at the end order by so when we are executing order by clause at the time of execution of order by clause i know that marks into 2 is also called as percentage so what i want to say is we can specify alias name in order by clause yes this works so alias name is possible in order by clause but we cannot mention in where clause 
rather in order by clause it is not required for us to mention a column name at all we can specify the column order that means in this select query i am selecting two columns that is first is s name that is column number 1 and the second one is an expression that is column number 2 so order by i can specify 2 desc which means whichever is our second that is our percentage is here a second at second position so it will order by that again the same result if i am going to order by 1 okay so in order by clause we can specify either a column name or a lies name or the order in which these columns are there so index number of orders so 1 2 3 still the result will be same whereas in where clause we need to specify a column or an expression in column we cannot specify lies that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching and happy learning